As mentioned in the last chapter, UP stands for Unified Process, and using the Unified Process is a great way to ensure that your UML diagrams come out the way they should and that you're not spending additional unnecessary time diagramming for no reason. The Unified Process is a workflow used by some of the greatest players in the software game. In fact, it was created all the way back in the 1990s, which is a long time ago as far as tech is concerned, by Grady Booch, Ivar Jakobsen, and James Rumbaugh. The most important thing to understand at first about the unified process is that the workflow is based on iterations. An iteration is a regularly occurring period of time, fixed, it's always the same every time it happens, that allows a planning phase at the beginning of each iteration. This means, let's say for example you work with three week iterations, at the beginning of each three week period you'll have a planning session in which you say, here's what we're going to build, here's what we're going to design, and here's what should happen by the end of the iteration. This means that in the unified process, you're never building a project that you designed 100% upfront. Every iteration allows time for general reflection and integration of feedback from users and from other team members. This means your projects are much more likely to respond to needs as they may arise. They're not just fixed in stone because you decided it should be just so at the beginning of your planning phase. In the last chapter, I briefly described the four phases of the unified process. Inception, elaboration, construction, and transition. Let's look now at Inception in a little bit more detail. Inception is not the Leonardo DiCaprio movie. In fact, Inception in the unified process sense existed way before that. Inception is the moment that you ask yourself, whether you're working solo on a project or with a team, whether the project is worth doing. There are several things that you need to consider as part of this reflection. You should consider the budget for the project. Is this project going to bankrupt the company because it'll take so long? Or is the schedule for this project completely unreasonable? But honestly, Inception should take no more than a week or two. In fact, if you go over two weeks, you know that you've spent way too much time on this part of the process. This is just a basically yes or no type reflection. Should we do it or should we not do it? Here's where the unified process can get pretty interesting. For every stage that your project makes it through, you reach what's called a milestone. It's like having different levels for your project, like you're playing Mario or something. Once your project makes it through the inception phase, you've reached what's called the life cycle objective milestone. Congratulations! This means you can move on next to elaboration. In the elaboration stage, you'll actually dive pretty hardcore into UML. You'll write out a ton of use cases where you say, here's what I actually want to happen within my system. You'll diagram those use cases using stick figures and lines, which we'll see in a following chapter. And you'll map out your domain model, which shows how objects in your system interact with each other in a more technical sense, how many objects there are for another object, for example. This matters a lot once you start getting into database design. By the end of the elaboration phase, you should end up with six different items. Core architecture, a relatively accurate schedule, risky elements on your radar, a ton of user and stakeholder feedback, use cases, and a started domain model. Once your project has passed the elaboration phase, it's made it to the next level. We say it's passed the lifecycle architecture milestone. After the elaboration phase, we move on to construction. This is a pretty self-explanatory phase. It's where your project actually gets constructed. So it's where the code is being written, the tests are being tested, and once your project has passed this level, we say it's reached the initial operational capability milestone. Lastly, your project will move into the transition phase. This is where the project is released out into the wide world. We say once a project has been released to its end users that it's passed the product release milestone. There's a lot less words in that milestone than in the previous ones. At this point, quality assurance is paramount. People will be checking, whether it's developers or quality assurers, that the project that was released correctly matches what was designed in the elaboration and even inception phases. 